the 2016 English National Sheepdog Trials are taking place this weekend in the idyllic Yorkshire surroundings of Castle Howard. This is the first time in nine years that the National Trials have been held in Yorkshire. I spoke to experienced handler Jackie Golder, who explained the origins of competitive herding and just how the event works. I think it'd be two or three hundred years old as a sport. It started in Wales. The very first trial was held in Barla in Wales. Um, and they did, did used to hold them in uh, Hyde Park. But it started with shepherds just having a little bet on to see who had the best dog. As simple as that, eh? As simple as that. Three or four of them and then five or six of them and then now it's as popular as it is today. This is this trial here is the English Nationals. Now this is the culmination of a year's trialling for everyone here, get, trying to earn the right to be here by having a couple of wins and you get so many points for wins. And if you have enough points, you're allowed to enter this. If you're successful in this, it's a three-day trial. The top five dogs from each day make up the English team that go to the uh, Supreme which this year is being held in Wales, but they vary. Each year it's held in a different country for the Supreme, so you get the, the championship of champions each in a different country each year. This one um, is just the English, and they hold the English nationals at different parts of the UK, so uh, in different parts of England, I should say, because that gives it fairer for the other. Everyone who trials at all, some of them people have come from Devon, you know, sometimes we have to go to Devon, so you wear it so everyone gets a shorter trip one year. Then. Jackie went on to explain that sometimes it's not just about the best dog on the day. You get a lot of variation and the sheep, of course, are always tricky. They're, they're tremendous individuals of sheep and every packet of sheep that comes out will present different challenges. Some of them just run down the course and run to the hurdles and run in the pen. Some of them turn around and stamp and won't move. Sometimes, which is even worse, you get a packet where two of them will run and three of them will turn around and face the dog, which gives the dog an almost impossible task because he's three slow ones to deal with and two fast ones. And it's very difficult and it's a lot of luck. You can have the best dog in the world and if you have a bad packet of sheep, you won't be able to beat someone with the next best dog in the world who has a good packet of sheep. Yeah, if the sheep are in a bad mood when they come out, you, you, you can kiss the trial goodbye, really. <laughs> you have to understand sheep. It's no good being a brilliant dog trainer. You also have to be able to understand and read and respond to the needs of the sheep so you can handle them properly. Jackie then went on to tell me about her own entrance into the national trials. His name's Chap. He's five, five years and a month old. He's, um, he's been a, a very nice dog. He's been easy to train. He tries hard. He gets me out of trouble rather than getting me into trouble and he's um, been the one who has done well enough to get me into the English Nationals, running in the English Nationals, which I never ever, with my previous dogs, would have dared dream of being. The trials continue over the weekend in the picturesque village of Conisthorpe within the grounds of Castle Howard. We wish Jackie and Chap and all the other entrants the very best of luck. For more videos, subscribe and like TV Yorkshire.